Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Wednesday, July 29th. Today the Universal Church celebrates the feast day of St. Martha, St. Mary, and St. Lazarus. As I've mentioned before, the Church sometimes gives the celebrant of Mass more than one option for the Gospel reading because of the particular feast or solemnity being celebrated. So on this memorial, these three siblings who were good friends of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the celebrant can choose between these two passages, the 11th chapter of St. John's Gospel or the 10th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. After praying with both of these passages, my heart and mind were drawn to the selection from St. John's Gospel. It reads, Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I come to believe that you are are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When St. Martha encounters Jesus in today's passage, we know she had to be struggling. Her brother, St. Lazarus, had died, and she believed that Jesus could have saved him if he would have been there sooner. But despite whatever she was thinking in regards to the situation, she gives a, a profession of deep faith. I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Therefore, she is looking forward to the future, even though her sorrow could have prevented this from happening. So St. Martha puts forth an example of great faith. We can be experiencing very difficult things in our present lives, but our faith can give us the ability to look forward to the future that is always filled with hope. And the reason for this reality is, is that knowledge of God's promise through His Son, Jesus Christ, is not dependent on what is happening in the present moment. Our faith links us to the salvation won for us by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And our faith, knowledge of things unseen, keeps us focused on what Christ has prepared for us in eternal life. So again, St. Martha modeled faith in the midst of her brother's death because she was looking forward to what has been promised by Jesus Christ. But as we know, With this passage, Jesus will raise St. Lazarus from the dead. And St. Martha and St. Mary will experience a twofold grace. They will have their brother return to them from the dead, and their faith in Jesus Christ as the Messiah will be confirmed. So these siblings truly operate out of faith. And they demonstrate how we can see the world differently, even in the midst of great sorrow, great pain, and great suffering. So the challenge for us is is that we need, through our faith, to look out into the world and see the blessings that God has bestowed upon us. And that since God is faithful to us, this means that we always, through faith, need to focus on seeing and appreciating all the good things that God is doing on our behalf and not focusing solely on what we are experiencing in the present moment. And also this probably means that we can't focus always on our expectations because faith also calls us to trust in God, that his providential plan is better than any plan we can make for ourselves. And God can exceed our expectations, and that's what's great. Our plans could be too small for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So this is why, again, we try through faith to transcend what is happening in the moment, to focus what is in store in the future, and also to focus on what God wants for our lives and how he's calling us to serve him. Again, 
if we operate out of out of faith we'll see this world in a much different way saint mary saint martha saint lazarus and our lady of victory pray for us <laughs>